There isn't one. Um, I, I want to be really careful with my words because th this one hurts more than um, many of them just because of the situation um, a team that played last night gets 50 points off of rebounds and turnovers, uh, second chance points and turnovers. So th this one's um, unbelievably hard to understand how we can get outworked uh, in those categories. And I, you know, that is absolutely on me. Just for whatever reason, um, it's been the same story all year long with those two categories, particularly the turnovers. And um, it's, it's a tough one to swallow. Where do you go from here? We just, we got to get to work. We got to show it. We got to teach it. We got to demand it. And uh, it's not going to change because we feel bad about it. We got to get to work. We got. We looked at the footage, and it looked like J.I. was the one who fouled him on the. So it, we could have gotten a proximity challenge, but that's a tough one to. But when I looked at the bench, they were like, no, because they thought J.I. had fouled on on his his second chance, his second opportunity. Um, it's a tough one. When you talk about turnovers, volume is obviously a concern, but then uh, at points in the game too. Uh, I know you've been asked about it before, but uh, what do you see some, in some of those moments? I'm reliable alternatively, but what are you seeing that, that uh, causes it's it's just carelessness. That's that's the only way you can uh, sum it up. You know, we've, it's the same story: playing in a crowd, uh, not being sure about you know where we need to go with the ball and being strong with the ball. It's not going to change. Um, th that's a lot of turnovers. You know, for any game. You want to stay around 12, 13. Um, and we, we kind of corrected it a little bit the last couple of games. But um, timely uh, live ball turnovers and that many points off of turnovers, it's, you know, you lose by eight and you give up 27 points off of those turnovers. It's, it's unexplainable. Uh, it seems like the game to get a turn really, uh, in the first quarter. And you talked about Kane and Bogey. I'm going to check out the to the ball. How do you? Uh, like figure that that out. Obviously, uh, just why it's we didn't get a lot of bench production, um, you know, to begin with. Um, it, it has hurt us. You know, we've tried to stagger the lineups to get those guys back in the game. Um, obviously, it's, um, it's putting a lot of pressure on those guys to have to come back in and save the day. Um, again, that's that's on me to figure it out. Mentally, where? You can just about imagine. I mean, you have these kinds of opportunities. You've lost 25 in a row. Like, you're probably not in a great mental state. But again, what choice do you have but to fight and compete and, and dig your way out of it? But it's human nature to feel like, you know, you know what? And that's, that's where we are. Do you sense a lack of confidence in, like, I guess, moments of two or three games are close and you can grab it and maybe it leads to the turnover? I don't. I don't sense the lack of confidence. I just there's just a lack of execution. There's a lack of you know knowing what we should do or you know we have we've had shots tonight. We had a couple of open threes. We couldn't put them down. Um, I wouldn't say that's a lack of confidence. We just we've missed those shots. All right. Thank you.